Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In the last video, we have learned how to make dresses using pen tool. In this video, we're gonna learn about the other options of path and their application in the digital fashion illustration. So let's quickly start the video. In the last video, we have just used this fill path using foreground color option. And uh, in this video, we will learn what is the use of the other option. So this is the garment. If you want to add outline to your garment, so how to do this? Suppose uh, we want to add outline to our top. So for this, first select your brush tool. Adjust your brush size according to uh, the thickness you want to add to, to your outline. Okay, this brush size is okay. Now select the color you want. Uh, you want your outline in which color? Suppose I want my top outline in this color then click ok I am increasing the brush size to show you ok now go to path select for outline path then here you can see this circle with outline only this is stroke path with, with brush first go to layer Make a make a um, another layer for top outline. Now go to path, then select the top path, then go to stroke path with brush tool. Now deactivate your path by clicking on the empty space here you can see our top has outline the thickness of outline depends on the stroke of your brush so you can adjust the outline thickness by adjusting the brush size something we missed in the last video about this fill path using fill path with foreground color Suppose, take your pen tool, here I have said uh, in these three options select for path only and here you can see this box kind of thing, here uh, we have many options, so select for combined shape only, sometimes it happens, uh, you make a, suppose, let's make a shape, shape with pen tool. Rename your path. Now go to layers. Make a new layer. Now again go to path, select the path. Then fill path with foreground color. You can see here the color is not inside the shape. It It's going outside the shape. So this problem happens to me. Many. How to solve this? This is because here in this option, it might, uh, you may have this subtract from shape or other option. So just check. It should be combined shape only. Okay. Again, I'm showing how to add outline to your garment. Just make a new layer above the skirt layer or skirt outline. Select the color for skirt. Select your brush tool. Adjust thickness of brush. Then go to stroke path with brush. Here you can see our outline is done. Okay, let's go to the another option. 
So here in the third option, this is dotted circle. What it use? Suppose uh, select the top path. You can see here our top area is selected. So this is used for making quick selection. You can de deselect by using Control D. Now, what is the use of this fourth option? Suppose this is you want to use the silhouette of this dress. So, uh, by tracing it with pen tool, it may take so long time. So, what can we do to do it quickly? Just take your magic wand or quick selection, whatever selection tool you can. You can use try to make the selection of garment. Now come to this fourth option. This is make work path from selection. Click on this, and now you can see the uh, out. Uh, we got the outline of this garment. Now we can use this outline for our dress also. Simply make a new layer or gown outline. Go to path, rename the path. Then hit OK. Select brush tool. Then make sure you are on the gown outline layer. Now go to path, select gown path, then click for stroke path. Now you can see our outline is ready. In this way, you can make your outline or silver of any dress in quick way or it not take much time. Let me show you another way to trace garment over the croquis. Suppose you want to make this um, this silhouette over your croquis. So, uh, but you can't see your croquis here. So then how can we trace it? Uh, I explained it earlier in my previous videos just simply reduce the opacity of this layer now this can be used as a tracing paper now select your pen tool then start tracing your gum Our outline is ready. You can also add some detailing lines to make it more clear. How can you do this? Then click on empty space. Now select your path. Now you can add detail lines here. But we want to end this line here. But if uh, we start at another point, it makes line from that point. But how to end this line? Just press skip. Now you can add another line. If you want to make lines or unclosed shape with pen tool, simply press skip to break the line.
so our path for outline is ready you can now go to layer make new layer for outline go to path select brush adjust brush brush size then go to stroke path with brush now i of this tracing paper this is how you can trace any garment or anything from a reference image now let's fill the color using the same technique as we used earlier select color for your garment make a new layer for fill go to path select your dress path then go to this circle you can see our dress is ready in so quick and easy way now how to add shadings and highlights in the garment for this we are going to use pen tool to do quick shadings and highlights uh, just eye of your dress layer increase the opacity of this reference image and uh, first deselect the path now take pen tool now we are going to make lines for the shading areas where we want to add shades zoom the image to see it clearly simply make your line and press escape now we are done with the lines for settings now go to layer hide this layer make a new layer over this gown fill layer name it settings i tell you one thing we can't use dodge and burn tool on a empty layer uh, you can uh, you can see in this setting layer we have not made anything so uh, this burn tool will not work here but if we go on this gown layer you can see it's working so if you want to um, add setting with the dodge and burn burn tool you have to make this uh, this work on gown fill or if you want to make separate layer for this you can use brush tool simply select a soft round brush reduce the flow to 13% now go to the setting layer select your path for the shading select the darker color see this is the color of the garment select for darker color then click okay now increase the size of brush just keep it like this now stroke path again increase the size of brush you can see this flow is much darker for us so let's reduce this uh, reduce it to 9% now let's try this one
we can go for this. Increase brush size, then stroke path. Again, increase stroke path. Repeat the process until you get the desired result. Now go to layer and flip the setting layer to this gown field. For this, press Alt and click between these layers. In this way, you can add your setting. Similarly, you can also add the highlight with the same purpose. Let's, let's erase some sharp edges of this setting. Take your bra um, sorry. Take your eraser, reduce the flow to um, below, below 20. You can keep it 13%. Now, it is uh, on the setting layer. It is the sharp pages of setting. Now the setting part is done. You can add outlines to your garment and do practice for it.